Before we get started in this tutorial, I'd like to give a massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. What is going on everyone? It's Mark and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. In this week's video, we're going to be doing a Premiere Pro tutorial um, for Sam Colder's Polaroid picture transition. So he did this in his um, How to Road Trip Across France video. I thought it was really cool and really smooth, especially as sort of things settle more in the intro um, to the video. So I'm going to play what he did and then we're going to show um, what I did after that. I've never been on one before, so when Hyundai asked me to take one of their new i30s for a tour, I took that as a challenge. A challenge to have the most epic road trip ever. This is my step-by-step -step guide to road tripping across France. So, as you can see, it's super simple. Um, at Just at the end, right before step -step that clip. So he has all the Polaroids laid out on the grass. Um, and then sort of just holds the camera and then zooms into it. So there's a few little tips and tricks, um, mostly in the preparation, not necessarily in the editing, that we're going to cover in this tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys what the sample that I did after this, um, and then we're going to go into how to actually create this transition using um, Polaroid camera, um, some extra Polaroids, and a little bit of green paper to use as a green screen. And once I show you how to get those clips, then we're going to hop into Premiere Pro and I'll show you guys all the editing that needs to be done in order to get this transition. Okay, what's going on guys? So first step in this, you're going to need a Polaroid camera. I have the Instax Mini 8. Uh, I got it for free um, from uh, my dad's like credit card company. They sent out gifts, so I didn't have to pay for this. Um, and I saw them on Black Friday deals for pretty cheap. So pick up one of those. And originally what I tried to do is to actually just take a picture of a uh, lime green piece of paper to use as the green screen for this. Um, but it didn't work as well as I thought it would and these really aren't gonna be good enough to get uh, the keying that we need in order to make this effect as smooth as possible. So what I'm gonna do instead is actually um, cut it out uh, um, using the green piece of paper, and then I'm just gonna stick on um, the paper onto the Polaroid with a little double-sided tape, and then that will be good to go um, for this transition. So I have a cutter here. And then I'm just going to measure the size that we need for these Polaroids. Okay, so now that we got that cut out, I'm just going to put on some double-sided tape on the back of this. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use for this transition. Okay guys, so we're in Premiere Pro right now and we got a couple clips that we're gonna be working with. The first one is this clip here, um, which is all the Polaroids just sitting on my bed. Um, so I'm just gonna play out sort of the raw clip that we have here. It is pretty shaky, so we're gonna stabilize that. It was handheld with a camera and a lens that both don't have stabilization. Um, so using a gimbal or something with stabilization would definitely help for this shot if you want to add some movement to it. Um, or if you did like Sam did and just sort of hold the camera above the clips, um, then you should be fine. So that is the clip that we're going to be working with um, for this situation. So I'm just drop this into our timeline and for this 
effect, we're gonna drag this to our second video um, line, and then we're gonna drag in our drone clip or whatever you wanna use. Um, I'm gonna use a drone clip here. And then we're just gonna drag to the section that we want, something sort of like that, hit in on that, and then drop that into our timeline. So we drag this underneath our first video layer in here. And then for this clip, we're just going to um, stabilize it, number one. So I'm gonna go over to our effects and uh, look up the warp stabilizer. So we're gonna let this analyze quickly, um, and then I'll show you the next step after that. So now that that is stabilized, we're gonna go over to our video effects once again, and you're gonna look for the keyer. So this is under the keying folder, and then we're gonna go to color key. So this is different than any sort of luma key that we've been doing before. We're just gonna drag the color key onto our nested sequence here. And this is a 4K file, so we're just gonna zoom out for this, decrease the scale by 50% to get it back to 1080p resolution. So now that we are over our nested sequence here, and then we're gonna go to our key color, and for this we wanna select this green that we have for the Polaroid. And then in order to get it to be as smooth as possible, we're just gonna increase the color tolerance. So we're gonna drag that up just until it's all the way gone. So one thing to watch out for, and I didn't really realize in this shot, is there's some green in these two Polaroids over here, which isn't what we want, because depending on how much I increase this, we'll actually notice that the other um, greens in the shot actually start to come through. So if you increase the tolerance too much, it will actually start affecting some of the blues and the yellows and stuff in the shot. So we can decrease that until we are at what we want and then add a little bit of feather just to make it a little bit more smooth on this. Yeah, we'll leave the feather at one um, just to give us a little bit of a radius to work with. So then this is pretty much all you have to do for this effect. So the one thing that you need to add on to the end is just do a quick zoom in on the end here. So I'm gonna cut this, hitting Command K. And then I use the Chengda zoom transitions. Um, there's a whole bunch of different presets out there um, for these Premiere Pro zoom ins. Um, I use these ones, they seem to work well for me, um, so I'm going to use these for this example. So all we're going to do is add in the CD zoom in out, throw that on the second clip here, and then if we skip forward in this clip here, we'll notice that it zooms out. or zooms into the clip. So for this example, you definitely need to increase the stabilization on your clip. It needs to be as smooth as possible to give it a smooth look. And if you guys really wanna go the extra mile for this, what I'd recommend is actually do a motion tracking in After Effects, and then actually put a speed hold on the clip so it looks like a still image and then start playing it. So then a video, the picture sort of changes to a video as you get closer to it. And then because it's all motion tracked, it looks like a Polaroid picture to start. I think that'd be really cool. So if you guys wanna put a little bit more time into it, then that is what you have to do. 
that's really all you have to do for this transition, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other tutorial ideas for Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, please leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get to them. Thank you guys for all support as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Once again, I need to give a big thank you to Squarespace for supporting this week's video. If you guys are familiar with the products, um, they offer great uh, website builders as well as domains or online store. I actually use one for my personal website. Uh, if you go to markwebstercreative.com, this is my online portfolio that I have for my design work as well as some of my video work as well. So this is a few of the projects that I have built in school. Um, I did some speakers, an amplifier, and a coat hanger. And Squarespace was perfect because I was able to create this whole website in pretty much a day, and it's been really good. Um, so if you guys are interested in 10% off, go to squarespace.com. Then forward slash Mark Webster for 10% off your first order. So thank you guys, as always, I'd really appreciate if you guys go, um, if you are building a website, go through this link um, and make sure you get that 10% discount. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.